inflation is showing signs of easing in many countries around the world at the moment. For, but for American consumers, one essential commodity keeps getting more expensive, and that is sugar. Americans pay twice as much for the key ingredient of their sweet treats as the global average and a lot of us. And that's thanks to government policy, apparently. Erin Delmore has been speaking to America's candy makers and sugarcane farmers to find out more. I thought it looks good. I think it looks good. Every year, Dave Giambri makes candy canes to sell at his shop in New Jersey. But now, it's costing him more. This year, I did have a slight 4 to 5 percent increase on the final product. I want to say sugar went up maybe 15 percent from last year. The cost of sugar is rising worldwide and in the U.S., where a protectionist policy props up domestic producers. The U.S. is the world's fifth largest sugar producer, with sugar cane grown in the south and sugar beets in the north. The U.S. is also a top consumer. Louisiana is the northernmost point where sugar cane is grown commercially. We're about a mile away from the Mississippi River, and thousands of years of flooding left naturally occurring fertile topsoil, perfect for growing sugar cane. 20% of sugar in the U.S. grown in the U.S. comes from Louisiana. So how does sugar go from being something that you grow here to something that I go to the store and I pick up out of a box on the shelf? We'll plant a whole stalk in the ground and the following year we'll go through with a billet harvester, harvest that cane. So this is a John Deere CH570 sugarcane billet harvester. All it does is cut sugarcane goes into an 18-wheeler, goes to the mill, and the mill presses the juice out of that sugar cane, that stalk of sugar cane. We have to do a lot of work to get from cane to sugar. So we, we have to knive the cane, and then we mill it. We put it through some very large rollers under some very high pressure to extract the juice. And then we have to separate the mud from the juice. And we have to evaporate the water that's in the juice before we can start crystallization. And then we have to separate the crystals from the molasses. It's one of the most processed commodities you can find. The U.S. Department of Agriculture protects domestic sugar production from foreign competition by taxing imports. A report by the Government Accountability Office in October found that the sugar program creates higher prices and that Americans pay around twice the world price for sugar. While the sugar farmers benefit, it's not like they don't have other problems. Last year we had a very good crop. The problem was input costs were, quite frankly, through the roof. Potassium, for example, $198 a ton went to $1,000 a ton. You have to apply that nutrient to the crop, so you have to take that hit. So the more, even though it could be a great crop with an average or even above average price for your commodity, you're still feeling the squeeze and there's almost no way to plan for it. Can a farm like yours compete with foreign sugar? Our farm and American sugar farmers in general will outcompete anybody in the world. We just can't compete against a farmer receiving direct subsidies. <laughs> Too, Mike. Back in New Jersey, Dave Giambri deals with the rising price of sugar when he can get his hands on it. There's still supply issues. I do eggs for sugar sometimes and they're out of sugar, you know, different types of sugar. You just have to work your production around that to keep things going. What do you think? Not Fred? You run a business that's focused on sugar. I'm going to go with it. So if the price of sugar is going up, what does it mean for your business? As far as when prices go up, I just increase prices. Gas prices rise up, people still drive. We got pack more chocolate sauce? People don't mind spending that extra money for that good candy cane or that good piece of chocolate. They know where to come. Aaron Delmore, BBC News, New York.